This is a headgum podcast. Welcome to Dungeon Courts. Dun 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 dun. If you're watching this on our Patreon, that's where this is gonna be. YouTube, I, I think, mm-hmm. and YouTube. Yeah. Uh, what? Check it out. We what? are. Uh, yes. If yeah. you're just listening to this, you don't realize this, but uh, there's mm-hmm. a video version. That's great. So check it out. Look and up. And we're all wearing beautiful dresses and suits. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Just a little lie for the podcast to not know. Oh fuck! Now they know. <laughs> <laughs> now they know. Now they know. <laughs> but you opened a new tab in your browser, didn't you? You're Bob? curious. You're thinking about it. You were thinking about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, we are your Supreme Crit Justices, mm. uh, Murphy, Axford, and Tanner, joined by the lowly, 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 lowly. lowly, yeah. lowly oh, we should have made your chair shorter. Yeah. should have. Like, you should have, but you yeah. didn't. And now everyone <laughs> watching the video knows. Wait a minute. Bailiff Hurwitz, can you hunch? Can you hunch, please? <laughs> yes, I'll get lower. Can I will stoop? get lower in this technically, chair. Technically on our level, Bailiff Jake. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, we're trying with, it out. It's not going to stick. Why don't we uh, throw to uh, the Bailiff here? Yes. Hear ye, hear ye. Crit is now in session. The Honorable Supreme Crit Justices, Axford, Murphy, and Tanner presiding. Hi. Hi. Howdy. And we are on video. Really exciting stuff. <laughs> or just in your ears. Yeah. Either I'm way. I'm not going to tell you how to consume your media. Totally. Even if you want to just stare at your phone and watch nothing Do while both. you listen to give us, us. The, <laughs> give us the clicks. Give or us the downloads. you could watch it and have it muted. Yeah. That's mm. cool. That's awesome. Do you? I like okay. that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Give us the view and the listen. Please. If yeah. you don't print this out as individual JPEGs and string it together in your house, it doesn't count as a view to me. I'm yeah. sorry. Can I just say, we didn't even know this was going to be on YouTube. YouTube and Murph just the second he heard it now he's like please give us the views we yeah. need the views check it out I think what's our YouTube channel it's uh, youtube.com slash in there you go. our Perfect. professionalism is showing yeah uh speaking of professionalism Ooh. let's mm. get right into it thank oh, you that was a beautiful thank you <laughs> um now this... it's not now that's not just bad for sound it's bad for video <laughs> <laughs> you lean past the mm-hmm. rain. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying out my new persona, the bad boy judge, this time around. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right, crispy buns. Right. <laughs> Murph. I need to know more. They've about already them lost buns. Murph, <laughs> and it only you gets can... <laughs> worse for crispy buns from here. Oh, okay. In the video, Uh-oh. people will see my eyes narrow at, <laughs> at certain moments. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Yes, they're gonna get to see Murph seethe. <laughs> crispy buns has to have a normal problem. Okay, yeah. let's okay. hear it. May it please the court, honorable Supreme Crit Justices Murphy, Tanner, and Axford, and mm. the crispy and frisky bailiff, uh, spelled B A E, which I really like. Oh, yeah. I okay. do like yeah. that. That's fun. But two adjectives? I don't know. It seems a little greedy to crispy me. Crispy and frisky? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't you like you it. should choose one, All Jake. Right. Yeah, let's lower the chair. Can we cut? Can we lower the chair? Can we cut it right as a man with a chainsaw comes in? Whoa! <laughs> Just swinging oh. way too quickly at the Jake, chair legs at Jake's chin. <laughs> I present the case of the pooping cleric. No. Oh. <laughs> I DM for a group yeah. of first time players, and recently mm-hmm. one of them has decided to incorporate taking a shit into the game, okay. removing oh. themselves okay. from whatever scenario okay. the party is in to take a big old dump. Okay, that is okay. Cool. They're let's, nothing let's, if not committed. Let's yeah. begin because I do love when we predict these before. Let's. Let's assume that this cleric is just going for realism. Everyone needs to use After the a long day of drinking mead and yeah. eating yeah. meat, you mm-hmm. this party doesn't ignore shit. coin weight. Is the is yeah, what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Encumbrance <laughs> applies to your body as well. Right? Coin yeah. weight mm-hmm. or mead weight. So we're exactly. on the cleric side okay. for now. <laughs> yeah. What could go wrong? Let's see what <laughs> happens. We're assuming it comes from a place of realism. <laughs> the first time it was brought up, I thought it was funny, so I allowed it, and we even came up with a mechanic to determine how often they needed to poop based on a roll and past poops. Okay. However, okay. Great. it's a little too I, involved. That, <laughs> I'm going to narrow my eyes like. slightly. <laughs> okay. However, a situation came up where the PC rolled a critical fail on a poop check. Okay. They requested said poop check mm-hmm. and subsequently weren't present for an ambush encounter, which almost led to a TPK. Oh, my God. They're okay. role-playing IBS. Why would you do this to yourself? <laughs> My question what? is, you know what? Has the poop mechanic gone too far, or should I embrace the chances of unexpected bowel movements at the risk of having a campaign end because the cleric was taking a shit in but the But you can okay. shit no. yourself and still heal. You could shit yourself and cure wounds. That's true. That's true. 
But yeah, you can't, can you hear heal emotionally from that? I don't. Well, wait, 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 wait. You can definitely shit yourself in healing word because that's from a distance. That's a big go. Yeah. But does that that doesn't require concentration, does it? Because I would say no. that pooping requires concentration. Okay, I so you're gonna completely have to okay, disagree. I think that you um, have a child, and so you are watching a child learn yeah. how to poop. Uh huh. I would say from ages three on, it's mm-hmm. instinctual. It's pretty easy. Yeah. yeah I'm, but I'm saying I'm that like at my I, phone. Mm-hmm. So right, I'm you're concentrating on, on your phone. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying right. if you want to do it right, yeah. If right. you're just like squatting on a log, if you have to go so bad uh-huh. that you're failing poop checks, whatever that is, yeah. it's what just is slipping check? out. A poop check. Well, it's all. Check. Well, they're it do- must be this is their happening. mechanic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So to answer your question, crispy was it? Uh, crispy, crispy buns. buns yes. How did you forget? <laughs> crispy. Thank I'm just you. gonna call you crispy if that's okay. KB. Crispy, you already went too far. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. But uh, also, I will say that you've gotten too into the weeds with the mechanics of the poop check. You're yeah. keeping track of the past poops. They're keeping track of the yeah. past poops, which honestly has nothing to do with it. It has more to do with your diet, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like true. depending on what you eat that day. Yeah, that right. yeah. Your poop mechanics had, are off. I had diarrhea three weeks ago, yeah. so how am I going to roll today? Yeah. Yeah. Justice Murphy, that is a very important yes. distinction mm-hmm. to make. Yeah. What is loose today <laughs> could be stiff tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't that's know. That's in Latin. The Above this yeah. column here, <laughs> it's it's all yeah, about hold. your fiber intake that day. Yeah. Or if you're mm. like me and you haven't had vegetables in a while, and then you have a <laughs> bunch of vegetables, that stuff will clean you out. Mm. Okay. okay. I, what I'm gonna say is I'm actually gonna deviate right now because right now you're kind of asking almost like for the integrity of the game, right? Right. Um. But I think that what's really going on is you guys came up with a mechanic that you're having fun with. The only thing I would ask is. Is the rest of the table having fun right. with it? And if that, and if the answer is yes, all of us are having fun with it, mm-hmm. then I don't think you need to worry. Have you gone too far? That's We're right. doing something right. that all you guys are having fun with. You're saying ask yeah. the folks that right. almost got TPK'd. Exactly. If they, yeah. like the poop if they love the poop, <laughs> yeah, if they, love they the poop would song. rather be right. TP. Right. I know we all love the poop chat. <laughs> We, we, we love it. Yeah. We all just love the <laughs> clerics poop check. <laughs> we all agree. You're down. Very to funny. Shirt. Just being like, very cool. Can I just say though that it's really fun that it's a cleric because usually we get like bad rogues, bad paladins. Yeah, I love that we're getting this cleric. little cleric who's like, That's well, but they're not bad. They're just what like, interesting, yeah, I'm a cleric. What an I interesting wanna... nuanced character yeah. that mm-hmm. they're like. I really want to help out the party and take huge dumps. Yeah. <laughs> I Who think is a, this I think that is a good character flaw. It's, Clearly, they yeah. have weak bowels but a strong heart. It's a yeah. cool character mm-hmm. arc to be like, the one thing I couldn't heal was my gut. Whoa. <laughs> They're trying to get their gut health right. Yeah. They're looking for a mystical kombucha that will magically heal their biome. Even a greater restoration yeah. doesn't so, understand what's wrong okay. with my gut. The problem, the problem with gamifying things like shitting yourself mm-hmm. uh-huh, is that... The twenty-sided die. Everything just has too good of a chance of happening. <laughs> like yeah, you have yeah. a five percent chance of a critical <laughs> failure, which on a shit roll is yeah. going to be shitting yourself. Right. You don't but... shit yourself five percent of the days. I also you know want to go back to what Murph said, <laughs> which so is often. that if you needed to shit, you wouldn't leave. You wouldn't not be in the fight. You just would be in the fight, but have shit yourself. Right? Totally. Yeah. Because yeah. in yeah. stakes like that, mm-hmm. you wouldn't be like. Excuse me, I need to use the restroom. Because yeah. there's historical that... precedent for this, <laughs> right? <laughs> Shitting yourself. Yep. Yeah, b- people aren't on the fu- weren't on the fucking battlefield in full armor, being like, mm. "Hang on a sec, guys," right. and going over and taking like a dump and then wiping their ass. Yeah, with... I never mm-hmm. thought about how long it takes to doff armor. Yes, right. Oh yeah, you can't doff it off. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You, you can't. You can't doff <laughs> you can't off a uh, 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 hard shit. Off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think most times the cod piece would just extend around. It would just like catch the poop underneath there. So I think I would yeah. say that if your if your table again, if your table's loving, loving mm-hmm. the poop checks, loving it, clerics loving the poop checks, you're loving the poop checks, you're all having fun. The only tweak I would make is that I would say that like your cleric doesn't need to go use the restroom. They can choose to shit themselves. Yeah, the it seems like they kind of want to shit that themselves. Impacts yeah. their movement <laughs> speed. Yeah. There's <laughs> so like a cleric. Like, let me lay on hands. Like, no, no, no I'm good. <laughs> I'll die. <laughs> also, how how funny could it possibly be? Like the tenth time this happens. Yeah. Like yeah, during I this, I think that's think the reason that Crispy's gonna... writing to us. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's because the again the first time, and they're like, this will yeah. be so funny. At the end of every day, we'll do like a shit check. Well, what we don't know is what happens on a nat twenty. 
What sort of miraculous shit do they I've take? Had the, I've had those shits. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, yeah. that's a no wiper. I think we've yeah, all a had a nat 20 shit. That's a no it's wiper. A no wiper is the Houdini shit. It's, yeah. the that just goes <laughs> down. it's so perfect that it goes down the fucking toilet. With yeah. the <laughs> Guys, thank you so yeah. much for watching our first <laughs> ever video d and I want to shout out Jake for being like, all right, our first ever video recording. <laughs> shit. Let's talk about shit for 15 minutes. Let's talk about the legendary Holy Bowler. I think so. To answer Crispy's really question, make this choice very I know. To answer Crispy's question, you. we always got to weed out people whenever we start in a new medium. <laughs> yeah, you have gone too far, Crispy. This has gone too far. Yeah. Um, you don't need to gamify shitting yourself. Uh, if the cleric wants to shit themselves that bad, they could just shit themselves. Mm -hmm. Also, if they shit themselves, they should still be getting in that fight. Yeah. I yeah. Think so are we ruling with? The crispy or the crispy? We're a or sorry with with shitty or crispy, crispy, yeah. crispy and is the, the cleric are both guilty. I don't think I, the whole I game. Think. With the, we're ruling with the party that was almost <laughs> TPK. Right, we're yeah. ruling with the party. Although we don't we don't know what their dynamics are. Crispy asked, "Did I did I go too far?" And, and the, the answer, answer is, is yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you did. Because mm -hmm. I think, because you... Yeah, Crispy, you went too far. Crispy. <laughs> Sorry, Crispy. Crispy, Spons. come on now. Listen, we've all gotten excited about mechanics and put them in the game, and then we have to live and die by those mechanics. Everyone in agreement that the shit mechanics went are, A, A, flawed. Yeah, flawed mm -hmm. to begin with. Flawed, because you should be allowed to fight in shit. Yeah, yeah. If anything, right. you yeah. might Not be only have you fighter. gone too far, but they're flawed to begin with. But they're with. flawed, yeah. Wow. Yeah. If you have to poop that bad... Then it doesn't require concentration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it's also can I can I just say the fact that when you first said crispy buns, I pictured sort of like uh, some toasted buns that you're gonna eat oh. fried chicken on. Oh. But now in the context of talking about shit this much, crispy yeah. buns We have ruined <laughs> our I'm first thinking about video that. episode. For sure. We have <laughs> ruined And I feel bad that we displayed it on the TV the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, There's some graphic shitting. There. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is artist rendering of the crispy buns. So, oh, so every everyone is against crispy here. Oh, yeah. I know what their I know what their punishment is. Oh, yeah. they have to put on a full set of medieval armor and then shit <laughs> and then shit themselves. <laughs> That's perfect. There is precedent for yes, this. Yes, we have made we have made people don armor before. You yeah. can don it on, but you can't doff it off. You no. can't doff. You, there's no it's time to be a sloppy shit. doff. Doff. Yeah. <laughs> Game set doff. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Beautiful. So you are sentenced to shitting yourself in medieval armor. <laughs> the whole party's going to be there, right? They're going to be watching? Uh, yeah. If yeah. they want. <laughs> yeah. We need to let this party decide what is That's I love the idea of Crispy and this cleric just thinking it's so funny and everyone else just stone-faced <laughs> sitting at the table. Yeah. Oh, I love the idea that it's like a super serious party that's like, um, we actually have a very strategic game plan in which if the cleric isn't there but uh i guess you guys want to goof off yeah. <laughs> they're so serious they're not gonna like this punishment either yeah cool. somebody this at the is... somebody at the table is just like this revenant was my father the whole time <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then the cleric's like oh can i do a shit check i can't spirit oh, guardians on my turn i'm gonna die everywhere i got a one there's a five percent chance every day i'm gonna <laughs> shit, 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 shit myself could anyone fucking title Oh! <laughs> the DM's like, yeah, you take one D4 of fart damage. Oh, my butt, my butt from the farts. Uh, okay, so ordered. Beautiful. So absolutely ordered. <laughs> Uh, our next case comes from Tom, who does not address the court at all. They just get right into it. All right, Tom. Tom appreciate huh? that. Both of you. I feel negged, but I like it. Yeah, Tom is desperate. Thanks Tom, for keeping it brief. Tom needs an answer. Tom writes, my friend keeps playing as children. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> May it yeah. please the grandiose judges and the beautiful bailiff. My friends have been playing D&D for a couple years now, and we often break up our main campaign with one-shots every now and then, with everyone still putting in effort into their one-shot backstories and characters, all except one, who has repeatedly played the same type of character, a child who has somehow gotten away from their parents and is now with the party of adult adventurers. His characters are usually between the ages of 7 and 11 oh. and have names Ooh. like George or Nancy. They always okay, okay. are split from the setting of the campaign and often involve him role playing them as 21st century children. Hmm. Hmm. Before almost some people, some people, the way they make D and D characters is like an insight into something you don't want to know about this... them. <laughs> There's always a shit cleric at the mm -hmm. table, isn't there? Yeah. 
This is their poop mechanics. There's also yeah. always a poo poo priest. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it basically, it says from the, what we're already inferring. Mm, uh, after multiple what, times I, it's happened, I'm sick of having mm, to worry about protecting yeah. a child on the battlefield yeah, in every yeah. one shot. Yeah. Am I wrong to be annoyed about his character? <laughs> you're right, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Open and shut, Tom. You're right. You're no. right. Yeah. Right. I do think, because we, we would even have that. Luckily, I think the way we played Beverly, mm -hmm. Bev was like 16 or something. But yeah. there is that element of, especially when you're playing characters who were yeah. like, if anyone was ever like, I'm 12 or something, mm -hmm. it's just everything is weird now. Yeah. Every time you have a fight with a bandit or something, you're like, oh, this bandit just punched a kid <laughs> yeah. that's fucking weird that's yeah. why, i'm 12 you're... and my name is nancy why'd you punch me? <laughs> <laughs> i think if you're gonna play a kid you gotta make it that's when you gotta fucking make it the most the toughest fucking most badass yeah. fighter possible liana yeah. Warmer, right like yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. that's a 12 year old that can exist in, in a camp yeah. and, and also only once yeah if you like yeah skate through on a character like that mm -hmm. yeah. then you play again? Yeah, just, yeah. Just, all right, this time I'm George. I'm 11. <laughs> <laughs> and I was at camp. And, just, <laughs> and also the I was separated from my parents part yeah. is wild. And because it's suddenly century. like, well, now we have to be your parents, I guess. I'm trying to, okay. Let's play devil's advocate yeah. here. Yeah. Right. What What is this person trying to, what are they trying to get? They are, they they are an adult who is tired of the uh, the demands and responsibilities of being an adult and yes. they are using their D&D &D sessions to escape personal responsibility, <laughs> I, which is kind right. of just a little weird for the other people. Yes, 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 yes. I, so, I, a lot of people do that. Like, I escape in D&D &D too. Yeah. It's weird to be like, my escape, it's, it is, it's already childlike play. Yeah. Yes. It's a world yeah. of wonder. Yeah. <laughs> I would put it as, also be six. D&D yeah. &D can be therapeutic. Mm -hmm. I don't think it should be therapy. Yeah, ah, precisely. Oh, Beautiful. I like that. Yeah. Well put. put that on a cross stitch. There we yes. go. Put it yeah. up there. Yeah. Put the right Next to our uh, solid shit one. I think that you can. It can be. It can be aspirational. Asp aspirational. It can yeah. be aspirational. It can be. Um, the cleric was aspirational. But don't bring in nice. something that you're personally working on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. I. I do. I wonder if. <laughs> this is again doing a very favorable read of the mm, situation because yeah. I think they're probably just trolling you. They they could want like mm. their type of fantasy could be like Stranger Kids, Stranger, stranger kids. Things type Stranger Kids. <laughs> I love Stranger Kids. I love Stranger, <laughs> kids. stranger, stranger kids. kids. My favorite off brand show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit Stranger worse. Stranger kids, yeah, it's on uh, Just Amazon. all the kids, all the kids are smoking cigars, and they're just like, "Where the hell's Billy? Yeah, He's gone." Not, oh, I love Maggie Bobby yeah. Blue. <laughs> Where's number twelve? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing weird experiments on number twelve. Here comes the Dinny Gorgon. <laughs> all the kids are played by thirty-year-olds, so they can work them way harder. <laughs> they all just have to get around. Scooters. We're on for long. We're, we're on to tutor these kids. They're we not don't have actors, but they don't need school. <laughs> Yeah. They don't They're need all just wearing little tiny clothing, yeah. though. <laughs> I didn't go to school anyway, but I wouldn't need it even if I did. It's the first TV show based entirely around knockoff Halloween costumes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but they, they might like that sort of uh, earthbound slash like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Stranger Things mm -hmm. uh, of, of that like. You know, uh, yeah. th th in fact, I believe there's an RPG or Kids TTRPG called Kids on Bikes. Yeah, that that oh. that's that type of thing, that like summer camp yeah. vibe. That's so cool. that would yeah. be the good read on it. But right. I'm still saying that's Can still I weird. Can suggest that's probably not the case? No, <laughs> yeah. that's probably not. It's the, case. the multiple times. It's, it's the, the multiple time times again, that's weird. That this guy probably, and that's why you're right. To say that he's trolling them. Yeah, because like it's getting it's. To yeah. them, it's getting funnier each time. Uh -huh. I've got you oh, again. could be trolling. Now this could person's even trolling. younger, and yeah. they're from Indianapolis. We but <laughs> it also could be like a weird thing. I think it's something that maybe if they aren't trolling you, you could be like, hey, what if you played a character who actually had more agency uh -huh. um, and could sort of contribute as a peer rather than mm. be a dependent? Yeah, you yeah. could do something like that and just – but do it like in game almost. Mm -hmm. Like start babying the kid in a way that oh, kids don't really like. Put the to be kid babies. gloves and on. Also, them. adult men don't like it either. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you actually can't be in this fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me the knife. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, give me who, the knife, I'm kid. I'm so sorry. Who gave 11 year old George a weapon? Oh, you're so cute. Here, watch your. It's iPad. Let's do screen time for you. Yeah. <laughs> you stop at We're a tavern. We're gonna allow some screen time. Right? You stop at a tavern and, and they're like, we actually do do daycare for adventurers. We find a lot of them come. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, because we have little Nance here. Mm -hmm. 
a general rule for your Maybe character should be that if a kobold punched them, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be that weird. Mm. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Wow. <laughs> put that on the wall. Yeah. Put that also put that on the wall. Put that in the cross crowded. stitch. <laughs> yeah. Put that on the wall. You can't ma- you yeah. can't be walking around with like eight year olds. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's punish this. Is this why you were so mad when I suggested playing Beverly's little brother for campaign three? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Beverly, Although punch. Beverly's little brother would be like 300 or something, so he'd be, be fine. Um, yeah, so we're, we're punishing So we're punishing Tom's Tom's Jeff Togold. We're, we're punishing Tom's friend. Uh, they have to play their next character as Jeff Co- Togold. There you go. 200-year-old. 200-year-old yeah. Jeff Togold. <laughs> you, have to, you have to play Beverly's grizzled old younger brother. <laughs> but he dresses like a little boy. Yeah. But also, I mean, you could ask the party. It also is like you're creating a party together. If the party, maybe the party's into it. But it says the D, if the DM's not, yeah. the DM's mm. the one that's got to put all those challenges out. So they're the ones who have to be like. I also yeah. think it's D&D, you know, if he's an 11-year-old, just fucking, you know, punch him. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it is d yeah. it, it is true. It is not D&D. real. <laughs> it is true. It's not real. This is true. your friend who's trolling you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's if true. If their 11-year-old avatar you can be punched. You are staring at an adult. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can punch their character. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can definitely punch Jeff Togold. Who is <laughs> um, he was no. made to be punched. Uh, all right. Our next case comes from Theo. Theo E. And Theo writes, may it please the court and satisfy the bailiff. Thank wow. You. How you feeling? Oh. I feel satisfied. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. I do. We'll I, wait until I, after I, the question comes out. Oh, right. Please then satisfy. I went in feeling satisfied by our last question. Mm. Mm. I bring to you the case of the frozen tiefling girlfriend. A while Mm. back, I was playing a 5e campaign Mm. with my friends. I played a revenant cleric named Vigil, and I met a tiefling named Lark while in a town. Mm. We had a bit of a romance and ended up kissing in front of a fountain and fell in. Just cute, sappy stuff. Then fades to Friends style. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) They didn't invent falling in fountains, man. Yes, they did. (laughs) Name one other person who fell in a fountain. (laughs) Fuck. Yeah. It's over. It's credited Chandler Bing. I actually one time did fall in a mini golf fountain. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? And I uh, was it a it, meat cute? Uh, no, I went full leg in. Okay. Like I, I stepped back, tripped over some bricks, went full oh, leg God. into a thing, and then got out <laughs> so I wouldn't get yelled at by my dad. And my dad just <laughs> turned around and I was soaking wet. <laughs> Uh, there's Did nothing he worse. You? He was just like, what the hell happened? I guarantee it also, I feel like the water at mini golfs is like stained blue. Oh, it was. Oh, yeah. It was. That's the hardly socks a were yeah. ruined. Yeah. yeah. That's a cesspool. Like, yeah. But I think I, I think I had some like stained green blue. air walks on or something. Oh, so oh gosh. Alive. Yeah. It was like the same color as the weird. I feel like everyone has a, a tale about like getting wet in front of their dad and their dad being upset about yeah. it. Don't uh, happen. Yeah. Yeah. I jumped in my, my aunt's hot tub tub one time Whoa. in like all my clothes it was like really rebellious of Whoa. me uh, and my dad was not happy and i had to ride home from memphis wet <laughs> <laughs> i've never been wet in front of my dad <laughs> what you guys never, never, this guy's lying over here. put this radio. man on the stand <laughs> i don't know if i've been wet in front of my dad <laughs> what's these fucking guys problems sorry sorry all right um, we're gonna table I this guess okay I'm just too well behaved <laughs> We're good. Me and Emily were good kids. <laughs> I am the bad judge. Uh, so we what fell in. We just about? cute, right. yeah, sappy ahead. stuff. Right. And then fade to black. Okay. However, one of my friends wanted to freeze the water while we were under it as right. a prank. I didn't okay. want my character to get too stuck. So I asked our DM if we could do a check to stand up beforehand so at least mm. it would just be our legs that were stuck. My friend accused me of metagaming, and the DM ended up what? agreeing. What? And my character almost died. <laughs> This is a bad prank. <laughs> it ended up yeah. fine, but after that session, three people quit, and the DM ended up ending the campaign. Whoa! Oh. My question is, <laughs> was it really metagaming, and should I have not spoken wait. up? <laughs> wait, none of Theo? this. Theo is the oh one being God. blamed Theo for ending like, this game? Uh, yeah, Theo is like, my question is, was it really metagaming? <sighs> none of this okay. should have happened. N- yeah. Not a single sequence of this event. Whatever happened at this table, three people quit, and the DM mm. ended There must up have been a blowout. Like a, a blow up after this. Yeah. So we are not getting the full story. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. I think. This this seems like the the final uh, straw on the camel's back. I'm wondering what else happened. Mm-hmm. Is it possible that this Ooh. romantic little encounter was stealing the romantic interest from someone else? A triangle. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, three spouts in the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> I think freezing, freezing someone. In the fountain and almost killing them. 
is weird. I can see doing yeah. it, but I can see doing it as a prank just to be like, oh, we're all having a silly moment. I'll freeze you guys. But then like right. committing to it so hard mm-hmm. that there are. Something art... happened after the f- initial freeze, I think. Well, it's I like, can. Oh, it's a prank, and it's like I'm gonna stand up. You're meta gaming. Yeah. Do like, we think? Do we think that they just wanted to do a silly prank? Then when they stood up, that the person was like, "Fuck you," trying to meta game my silly prank. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna become serious. Yeah, I think so. I think you, that's what happened. I yeah. think that's that, super tense. Hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you never take my silly prank seriously. Oh my god. Yeah. Here's. Wow. Yeah, because it is. I. I mean. I guess it's metagaming a little bit to be like, can I get out of the way of this thing? But presumably mm. whatever spell should have a save. You don't just get to freeze. Do, right. Does it say specifically what spell or is it just like try to freeze the water? Just try to freeze the water. Just try to freeze the water. Is it freeze possible, the Theo, that you were having a good time, your friends were like, let's get in on this good time. Mm-hmm. And then you were like, no, 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 this is my good time. And oh. then maybe that's why they went to metagaming. Is it possible? Someone got pissy. I don't know it's I don't someone know who got, got pissy, pissy, but someone definitely got a little pissy in the fountain. I think, yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm obviously gonna side with Theo here. This yeah, yeah I think this seems like a wild thing for the you. The fact to that three people quit. <laughs> <laughs> That, that couldn't that entirely be fountain based. Is what's I, okay, making let's, me think. Lo, should we try to role play how we think this could have gotten tense and blown <laughs> oh, up? Yeah, I love it. Okay. okay. Oh wait. So, okay. Well, oh, what is I everyone? Know. Who's everyone gonna play? I'm gonna. I'm okay. not gonna play one of the. I'm gonna play one right. of the outside characters. I, can, I need to try to I imagine can play the DM. why okay. this went so poorly. I'll be the DM. I'll play the the fountain tiefling. You'll okay. you'll play the t- you'll play Theo. Yes. Okay. And then Jake, you're gonna play the person who. Um, uh, tried to freeze. freeze. Okay. okay, great. Okay. And um, Emily, you're gonna play one of the people at the table that yeah. quits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. okay great. So I'm I think the DM. I think I've come up with a character. Yeah. Okay. That I understand. Who, who, we know all of our characters. Who is the quitting player that we? I'm playing a paladin. <laughs> playing a paladin. Okay. All right. So let me set the scene. Okay. So, uh, oh, Theo, you that's... are you are here with Lark, <laughs> Lark. Uh, who uh, you guys are making out. We've got Chandler Bing nearby. We've got Monica nearby. Everyone's playing around in the fountain. Uh, you guys roll over into the fountain as you kiss. <laughs> Wait a second. They roll over into the fountain? They roll over into the fountain. The fountain erected in the honor of Moradin, the <gasps> god I have devoted my life to? You're going to frolic in the fountain of Moradin? Emily, why are you doing this? You it, it, insult our paladin? <laughs> no. you, you insult the god <laughs> you, from really? whence my smite Murph, derived? Murph, tell him that I can do this. Tell him this is fine. I cast freeze water. <laughs> okay. Yes! Okay, okay. Uh, I step up. I step up on top of the fountain. Okay, no. I bring Lord with me. Hey, hey. No, no, no. No, you can't do that because that's metagaming. metagaming. You have not seen this. You're in the water right now. Yes. So, Right now, you're, you're I, fucking. I cast it at a ninth, ninth level free water. Ninth level. On, yeah, ninth I'm level. a sinning adulterer. That's gonna kill Lark. <laughs> yeah. I haven't hey, seen her dude, in four hey, sessions. Hey, dude, dude. Hey, dude. Yeah. We're trying to play a game right now. Uh, I'm trying, the DM. This well, doesn't sound, sound like a fuck fucking game to me. Second. Why is he so metagaming at me? Okay. Why is he, he metagaming? I'm not metagaming. You're absolutely This party has made me do too many things. You a date with Lark. Hey, right. I know about that, like, dude. I, I know, anything. okay? That session Ooh. where I couldn't make it because I have a double shifted Applebee's? Okay. I know that he cheated on Lark with me, dude. I heard about it, okay? I fucking heard. Okay. Your character did not hear about that. That is also metagaming. Okay, as right. someone who is actually currently, I'm just going to speak out of turn, as someone who's playing a paladin and working through my Catholic guilt, um, this is actually trespassing Jesus on some Christ, stuff. Emily, again I, with this shit? I'm sorry. It's just like I'm bringing in my personal baggage <laughs> to work out at this table, and right now this is complicating it for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm out. Okay. I quit out. D&D. I, I'm going to have to quit. All right. You know to, what? I'm That's fine because I've been wanting to DM anyway, so anyone that wants to join my table where people can make out with whoever they want and figure out just like – what their deal is at the table, and if they want to take a shit, they can take a shit. Come to my house. Uh, can I play a three-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> and... Okay, so I think we know what we're involved. So I think right, we're, cool. we know okay. what happened. We yeah, know we know exactly happened. what happened. <laughs> should... It's great. Um, yeah. A tale from a toxic yeah. table. I think old. <laughs> a tale from we're... a toxic table. 
<laughs> we're of course on Theo's side here. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Sure. I Whether also, or, yeah. I also like paladins. I was just trying to do a silly bit. Yeah. <laughs> so no one take it personally. Yeah. I was trying Everyone to do a silly home, bit, yeah. and it was also a callback to how yeah. uh, Caldwell said it should be therapeutic, not therapy. Thank so you. that's why yeah. I went there. Yeah. We were just playing make characters at a table. It was just a silly bit. It was just a silly bit. We were just having fun. We were. <laughs> um, what's the punishment for, for Theo's uh, table? For Theo's, Theo's, table. Theo's table. Well, they all already is... broke up. They have to yeah. get back together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How about all right? They have, they have to, to get back together. Game. Terrible Ooh. fate. Wait, they, got it? and they have to have like. Oh, wait, actually, I'm making it too fun. I'm making it too fun. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, they have to get back together and play a session in a fountain. Oh, you with, think your my la- with your electronics. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, with your Not yeah. plugged in. Not plugged in. I don't in. want anyone to get electrocuted. I just yeah. want your stuff your to get ruined. Will all get I want your right. phone to get Yeah, you're, you're going to have to wear goggles because when you roll that D20, you're going to have to get under yeah. to see oh. what. I mean, Whoa. wearing goggles is kind of a good thing. <laughs> and <laughs> and I'm a goggle gal. gal. Yeah. Listen. I'm a goggle gal. <laughs> Look at <laughs> me. I'm kind of a goggle gal. For everyone watching the video at home, you'll see Emily was wearing her goggles right now. I'm a goggle gal. And when me and the goggle gal get together we are a gaggle of goggle goggles <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem we have to ask her to take off the goggles before we record and she refuses a lot of times <laughs> yeah she's just giggling she's a giggling gaggle of goggles <laughs> i think it'd be really cool to have a fountain that instead of money you toss d20s into it oh okay yeah, yeah. Be, should we, should we build a fountain fun. yeah when we do a uh, nad con we'll put a fountain in right. the middle that's of right. the area. <laughs> it's a new patreon yeah. stretch goal yeah. wow <laughs> Uh, we're and saving up for We're building a town side. square. Get excited. <laughs> oh, so, wouldn't that be scary, though, to look out and see all the different, like, yeah. seeing one area and be like, oh, my God, there's a lot of sub five rolls over sub there. Oh, yeah. Because you, you the do, currents. like, a little wish, so you yeah. throw a dice in there, and then you look down, you but see a But the currents are going to be making your all go yeah. around. <laughs> oh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do to make this punishment even worse? Okay. We could combine it with the first punishment. The person who has to shit in their armor is also in the Fountain. That's nice. Oh, I yeah. think trying to use it as a day. Yeah. So you have to go play D and D in the shit fountain. Right. And let's put yeah. the eleven year old in the fountain too. Why yeah, not? Yeah. Right. Yeah, there you go. Why not? Just make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's just silly fun. <laughs> cool. Um. So ordered. Uh. Our next. Thank you. Our next it's case. Like you can put it closer. To no, you. no, no, no. Okay. I feel like for staging, it's better there. <laughs> uh. Our next case comes from Brenton C. Brenton yeah. writes. Okay. Brenton C. Maligan. Nice. Love that guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Budget <laughs> Brendan. Hey, hey. Reference to our friend Brendan Lee Morgan. Very good, Caldwell. <laughs> <laughs> the showrunner for Strange Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable judges and beefy bailiff, I present the case of the bubbled wizard. Okay. Mm-hmm. When I was a fledgling DM, I was nearing the end of a short campaign that I was running in for my friends, and I had them enter a castle that immediately flew thousands of feet in the air, creating a cool set piece for the final fight against the BBEG wizard. Sick. Love it. Mm-hmm. This sounds fun. Love yeah. it. This doesn't sound fledgling. End of yeah. case. <laughs> this rule. Incredible. A happy ending. <laughs> At the beginning, but, uh-oh. <laughs> my shitting cleric. <laughs> at the beginning of what was, <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning of what was supposed to be a multi-staged epic boss fight, one of my players tosses a bead of force at the BBEG, trapping them in a giant force field bubble. Cool. They then casually roll the BBG out of a window to fall to his death. Mm-hmm. To counter this admitted, admittedly hilarious move, I had the BBEG cast fly to save themselves, which then led to an over an hour of heated back and forth arguing about <laughs> flying in a force field, atmospheric crosswinds, and the terminal velocity of a wizard in a bubble. Fed up with the bickering, I finally gave in and said that the wizard dies by falling, ending what had been an interesting campaign on a dull note. Aww. The players were very unhappy with this outcome, oh. even though it was what they had been arguing for for the last hour. Was oh I wrong? Oh my for god, want- people don't know what they want. <laughs> yeah. They don't know what's Mm-mm. best for them. Was I wrong for wanting the fight to continue in an interesting way? Should I have not given in to my players? I am at your mercy. There is also a PS that I will read after. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. I need someone to look up Beat of Force because I need to. Yes, I want to know okay, the mechanics okay. of this because I will say. Usually when we first record things... at home, I can look it up on my computer, but mm-hmm. I didn't bring it. Yeah. First Should things have. first, you want your BBEG to have legendary resistances. Mm-hmm. You do not want. I, you want that your players to have to work to have a, a big ending like this, that at least that way you get a few rounds of terrifying BBEG before they put them in a bead and throw them out of a castle, which would be a fun ending. Mm-hmm. That happening right away isn't 
uh ideal obviously wow yeah. Murph, that was just a really nice piece of dm advice yeah usually yeah. we just like really say we really just talk about shit, shit and stuff right. and this that was just really great you know yeah. i'm nuanced <laughs> yeah i'm like <laughs> a awesome. cleric that also shits themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you have good shits and bad shits uh, okay so the beat of force okay. you can use an action to throw the bead up to 60 feet the bead explodes on impact nice sound effect Thank and you. is destroyed from the goggle gal each <laughs> creature <laughs> <laughs> each creature Creature within a 10 foot radius of where the bead landed must succeed on a DC deck save. Legendary resistance. Yeah, there you go. Gone. Got it. A there goes your beat of force. Of transparent force then encloses the area for one minute. Any creature that failed to save and is completely and is completely within the area is mm -hmm. trapped inside the sphere. Trapped inside the sphere. Creatures that succeeded on the save, that doesn't matter, yep. uh, only breathable air can pass through the sphere's wall. No attack or other effect can. An enclosed creature can use its action to push against the sphere's wall, moving the sphere up to half the creature's walking sp speed. Okay, so it can mm. be moved. The sphere can be picked up, and its magic causes it to weigh only one pound, regardless of the weight of the creatures inside. Oh, so if, if you succeed, moved. are yeah. you still, you're not in the bead, right? Uh, partially within the area and are pushed away from the center of the sphere Got it. until so you they're get, no longer. You get pushed. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now look up fly. Can you ca could you cast fly? It has to be a creature, right? So you so could I, you cast fly on the thing. So but you could cast fly on yourself, right? Yeah, right, you can cast fly I, on yourself. And mm -hmm. it's only one pound. Yeah. Presumably you, you could, could push fly it. and mm -hmm. be carrying the the cage because the cage is only yeah. one pound. It's a bubble. Mm -hmm. So I I think what happens here is that if you're going to rule for something that seems unfavorable to your players you need to just lay down the law and just be like that's it guys no more arguing hmm. there's no as soon as you have an hour argument you already lost <laughs> right. yeah, you, know what I mean? yep. you need to just like instantly be like no he's casting fly he can cast fly more than mm -hmm. 10 minutes also yeah, yeah. if it, if it weighs good. one pound right like if i can fly but i'm in and and i'm and i'm standing in like um uh, you know, like those. Oh, this is like a. This is gonna be like a industry thing. They make like little pop up tents for you to change your costume in. Oh, oh like when yeah. you go to but the beach. But if I'm wearing, if I, yeah. if I were, yeah. if I were in a tent, right? right? Let's just say a tent. I'm. If I were in a tent and I cast fly on myself, I could just you fly, fly around. Fly with the tent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Freaking tent on. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you're in a freaking Coleman, you can just fly around with yeah. that. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I'm gonna say it. You fly around with a big tent. Yeah. 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 You're good. Full size yeah. tent. A family well, tent. Yeah. For sure. Oh gosh. Yeah. Um, used to do that all the time yeah. back in the scouts. <laughs> the other thing I will say is that you can – situations like this where you just – your your players really get you mm -hmm. and you don't want to take the wind out of their sails, which yeah. it sounds like th this situation very much happened. They right. came up with a clever plan. You didn't have legendary resistances, uh, so you got put in this position. What I would do is I would kind of cook it but make it seem like a roll matters or I'd, I'd set the – I'd make it very hard for um, uh, things to not turn out my way. Oh. I'd be like, uh, you fall, I believe you fall 600 feet per round. So I'd say, okay, you mm. can only cast fly as an action. We're going to oh. see how high up this uh, wizard's tower is. Uh, it's mm. going to be, I'm going to roll a D100. It's that uh, times whatever. Mm. Uh, and you find out uh, how many feet it is. Mm -hmm. And if it's more than 600, then he does indeed get an action to fly back up. And then it feels ah. buttoned up. You've used the mechanics to your advantage. Mm. Uh, that way you can sort of, uh, if, if your players are arguing with you, you could be like, I've, I've showed, here are my notes. Yep. Right. This is how it works. Look at that. Yet another nugget of wisdom from the ass brain of RDM. <laughs> uh, is there, is this like, uh, part of me also feels like this move is so game changing mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I'm like, well, a little wonder, obviously I know that it ended sourly, but I think if I were sitting there as that DM, I might be like, all right, dude fucking flies away. You can, uh -oh. like, we're setting up a rematch. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that Like, this move feels so big and game-changing without actually destroying yeah, him. because how long does it last? Like, a he minute? Just fly away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he flies yeah. away. You can ransack his castle, find out a bunch of shit about him. Well, it's, it sounds like the whole argument was basically just they wanted players to. came up with this cool idea. Yeah. Insta-killed the BBEG or thought they did. Yeah. DM rules against it, essentially. Says, no, he's going to cast fly and it's going to come up. Right. Uh, then they argue, and then the DM goes, okay, no, you guys can have your way, which just leaves nobody happy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I would say 
unfortunately, I think I am going to roll against this DM. Though wow. I do, Whoa. I I do um, sympathize with you. I mm-hmm. see how you uh, got into this situation. Uh, it's tough. You're just trying to please your players. Yeah. Um, but sometimes players got to eat their vegetables. That's and you right. I also think, like, law. when you're a player, if if your DM is like, this doesn't work, you're like, oh, it's because they have something fun planned. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to stick around for the fun. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You also could have been like, oh, the uh, ball rolls off, or the bead rolls off of the castle and bashes into a bunch of stuff on the way down. It's going to do this much damage, or he's going to fall for uh, you know X amount of damage or something like that instead of having it be like an insta kill. Mm-hmm. It's a wizard. I'm trying to think of like, I mean, the wizard could have feather fall, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You could have a ring uh, at the very least. Yeah. But they and it's might only not one pound. It. Does that, does, but like if it's one, one pound, pound, is that yeah. heavy? Does mm-hmm. that even reach terminal velocity? It's a bubble. It, I think yeah. everything reaches terminal yeah, velocity. Yeah. I, I know. The, no, I know. <laughs> the only situation I, I reaches just, terminal velocity. I have the same thought, Jake, and I was sitting here being like, <laughs> would it? No, it's just wh- Maybe it wouldn't hit as hard. It's only a pound. Yeah. No, they'll both fall at the same speed. Sweet. Let's. It's all about. Let's go ahead and add that. I know. What if? What if you could just? Okay. Here's what you actually should have done. You should have just been like. Surprise, bitch! A bunch of birds come along. And- <laughs> <laughs> that would have ended the argument right there. Let me just roll to see if there's any birds in the Let's area. Just- oh my god! Net Is that a three? Three birds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bonus points if like your players <laughs> met some birds at a previous point in the campaign and befriended Ooh, them. Yeah. Like this is where Kaka comes back, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Kaka gets true. absolutely <laughs> murdered by this orb. Yeah. Wow. So even though this DM is getting punished, the PS does say shortly after oh. I did what Judge Murphy will probably advise and found new friends. They are much <laughs> better. Oh! They are much better to me as friends and players. Oh. <laughs> well, if your players are being yeah. Man, now I feel I, bad. You should have read the PS first. <laughs> no, I think, well, no, I think you're, no, you're I, right. No, the so, yeah, but like the players really shouldn't be arguing over it. This is a complicated one, right? Because it does sound like for your BBEG, you did do some things wrong. You should have mm-hmm. laid down the law and you should have had legendary resistances. I However, like your set piece, though. No, yeah. play, if the player wrote this in, in if the player wrote this in and was like, hey, this happened. I argued with my DM for an hour. Yeah. Am I right? I would say no. Yeah. So the answer to everyone's question, everyone is wrong in this scenario. You know what I mean? Something bad happened. The table was broken. Right. What, yeah. Like what you ended up <laughs> pure, doing is exactly purely, what needed to happen. Purely D&D wise, everyone here was wrong. But socially, the person who submitted this, this DM is yeah. correct. Uh, yes, like they're just, right. they're just trying to play a game and be nice to their friends. And they mm-hmm. gave in because their friends really wanted this thing. Um, yeah. So, so do we have to sentence them? I think after that nice after PS, that nice PS hmm. that we should have read up. How top. about we sent? How <laughs> about so we sorry. sentence them to a fucking delicious dinner with fucking Murph? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> can I cook? Jake has to a cook a dinner for me, <laughs> and it has to be delicious. Fucking <laughs> dinner by Jake Hurwitz. Wow, that's with cool. Brian Murphy there. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I light the candles. Yeah. I'm there to take a picture of you and Brian. And here's ah, here's, ah, here's the punishment. Kevlar walks by at one point and says, when you're about to take a selfie, and says, oh, you want me to take that? Kevlar was here. He's busting the table. That's right. I'm in disguise. I'm wearing a lot of prosthetics and on my face. The punishment is we have to listen to the pre-PS audio <laughs> of where we're saying all the things that they did wrong and yeah. just have a really awkward dinner. Yeah. yeah. So we have to have an awkward dinner, unfortunately. And then after dinner, you then and the Jake player. Cooked. Yeah. And I do deserve to cook it because yeah. I read the PS. So <laughs> yeah, a little I'm punishment a, for I'm Jake. I'm going to learn how to cook for this. I just picture going to a restaurant and they're like, oh, great treat in store for you tonight. Uh, my friend Jake is cooking. Hey. <laughs> oh. I hope you like brownies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's it? Yeah. Yeah. Dinner. The, scent, the scent of burnt brownies. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, scratch that. Uh, okay, cool. So ordered. Yeah, uh, I, I legitimately have... feel bad. <laughs> yeah, because also it's like they got new friends who are nicer to them. So if yeah. we didn't get from this question that your friends were being super awful to you, right? Mm-hmm. Honestly, uh, Murph, work it all out at the dinner, <laughs> at your intimate dinner. I'm gonna. Yeah. I've got a lot of things. It's gonna to be say. a long dinner because I'm not good at like timing shit. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. so, so it's gonna, gonna be come bad out and too late. soon, yeah. and mm-hmm. then 
the dinner is gonna come out yes. too late, and then the dessert's gonna come out when you're in the middle, in the middle of, of the dinner. dinner. Yeah, okay, exactly. Right. And the drinks come out at the end. <laughs> God, Lord. that's the worst fucking order I've ever heard. And I'm gonna be dressed as a waiter, clearing out the other tables because it's clearly time for the restaurant to close. God. And I'm gonna <laughs> play. Just to make us and I'm gonna play the violin, and I don't know how to play the violin. <laughs> and here's the P.S. And here's mm-hmm. the P.S. And this is the P.S. Um, okay, so ordered, uh, and now we have our final question oh my case, which is actually a confession. Okay. So, oh. Uh, for anyone watching the video, we have we're donning just, the robes. We're, don- we're donning the robes. Yes. Oh my gosh, I, do you want to do that again without my feet on the table? Oh I sure. I don't want to get in the way. Of actually, here, put your foot oh, on the here. table. <laughs> too many visual gags, guys. Let's, let's but, remember yeah, where our bread is buttered. Our roots. Our roots. Our roots. <laughs> our roots. <laughs> our roots. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. Check us I, out. Was getting, I was getting rowdy for the tube. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah do check us out on YouTube, though, if you want to see. We Emily's don't know that book. we're gonna. Have we don't even YouTube. know. It's totally. <laughs> on Truly, YouTube. we don't even know. <laughs> Just Google it. <laughs> Go, look it up. Uh, all right. This confession is from Chris Y. Chris writes. To the mighty and fit bailiff slash oath keeper slash oh, justice shit. wrangler, Jake. Wow. Uh, justice wrangler? Justice wrangler. That's okay. a brand of jeans. And that implies that I need to be wrangled, wrangled sometimes. <laughs> Never. And the kind but stern <laughs> justices slash cardinals of the holy church of oh, the divine. There we go. Die. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. I have a confession. Okay. When I first be- began DMing, I made a transgression fueled by a bad habit. <gasps> The Ooh, bad habit is this buying... Is, this is salaciously yeah. enticing to mm-hmm. begin with. The bad habit is buying exotic and non-standard dice. The transgression oh. is that I would use a D30 instead of a D20 to try to make oh. the game more challenging. I've since learned my lesson, but it still weighs heavy on my soul. I oh, didn't wow. even know a D30 existed. Neither did I. It uh, yeah. sounds like you've already punished yourself. Mm-hmm. But does it, it, it makes okay. it more difficult. Okay, no, no, exist. no, no. Yeah. I think that, I think that, no. You've seen your hubris. No, you're right, because that only there's, really helps you. There's more numbers. No, but it's Because I was thinking, because I have the problem that I feel like very specifically when I DM for Murph, I always roll really you, she really beats me up. I always, <laughs> and I've been thinking about what to do, how mm-hmm. to, like, I feel like anytime you have a spell save, I make. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And it's specifically Mervin. I've been thinking about, like, I have, like, a, I have, like, a D, I have um, a dice that I'm, like, cooking on one. That's oh. going to be my Murph dice, because I don't want to keep creaming my husband. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I was thinking, oh, they're trying to make it harder for them to have a critical success. I think it's probably for but everybody. But I realized, mm-hmm. but I realized that if it's for everybody, then it's fair, right? It's even playing ground. But if you have a D thirty and then you're rolling to hit and you get a twenty five to hit, exactly. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This is also blas- blasphemy, right? For dice yeah. Christ. Yeah. Because this is where this is not an approved one tool. through twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not yeah. opposed. This... I would experiment with one through thirty. That's a, I'll, thirty. I'll, 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 that's we Emily. Emily. Apocryphy. Please. Let's see if the dice Please. No, yeah, they, and they will <laughs> Are you be. Pissed, All right. That's a six. Wow. That's a six. You can give it a chuck check. A six. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. Six yeah. is the number of the dice devil. See, yeah, dice Christ. Uh, with with uh, when you when you roll with a d thirty, dice Christ will take away your nat twenties, and that is right. that is your joy, right? Uh, and then and you I, have a nat thirty, which but is a sounds... nat thirty, and a one which is... makes you suffer even more because of the odd. Like yeah, mm-hmm. one feels even There's, lower. Yeah, the the lows feel lower. The highs don't, don't feel, feel as high. high. Mm-hmm. You're barely God. getting them thirties. You're even right. You get I'm a 30, imagine... There's probably a moment of confusion. Right. Like, you're like thirty. The fuck does that? Mean? Yeah. <laughs> but this is, but this is, we're we're speaking from a place of this is what we're used to. This is what we've built up our mm-hmm. emotional responses. This is what we to. built right. our church on. Yeah, there are right. twenty pillars yeah, in this right. room. I know, yeah. I know. I'm getting what reminded what left you and speak right. Of <laughs> Emily Asher. Listen, we've all been tinted. We've all walked into the dice store album. and we've seen <laughs> that D thirty. So many numbers, so many sides. Yeah. I've never oh. seen the it. possibilities. What could we roll? But no. No, we know that one through twenty are the numbers chosen, and we must yeah. stick to them. Should we excommunicate this person? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Normally, <laughs> normally this is for they forgiveness. Have, they have danced. They have danced with the dice devil for sure. Yeah. I think However, if, if they were using the D thirty when everyone else was using the D twenty, that's some wild shit. Would smell like to hey, roll deliciously. Dice Christ forgives all. You have uh, confessed. You've mm-hmm. seen the error of your ways. Yeah. Um, Come back to twenty. And I think you, you've already punished yourself. 
yourself because this just sounds weird. Imagine rolling an 18 and being like, eh, I that's guess not that good. <laughs> I guess it's okay. This You're right. Been... I can't hold it in my brain. Yeah. yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. It's too many numbers. Confusing. This must have been a Zoom campaign, though, because I can't imagine like rolling that like D30. And like if you're sitting so next long. to the DM, <laughs> they're just like, what is that? Like, oh, it's a D20. Like, yeah. <laughs> What's that bouncy ball you have? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a D20. It's a 47 to hit. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I crit twice somehow? <laughs> All right. Uh, you are forgiven. And yeah. with that, mm -hmm. uh, I think we will wrap this one up for yeah. now. Mm. For now. Um, you can for head now. on over to our Only Patreon. Patreon.com. Come on over. Slash now Nadd. that definitely exists. That's N-A-D-D-P-O-D. -D -D -D. Don't sing yet. Yeah. Don't do Ooh. it. Oh, you they get to see our, our mouths as we show. sing. The bonus cases. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we'll be doing uh, answering more of your more of your your queries. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you <laughs> queries, know, cases, okay. confessions. <laughs> queries, messies. cases, confessions. Mm -hmm. um, until then, uh, does anybody have anything they'd like to plug? We don't have much in front of us. Yeah. I'd like to plug our YouTube, which I don't know. <laughs> but are we going to do it on Headcuff's YouTube or our YouTube? Nat on YouTube. our YouTube. Nat our yeah. theoretical I'd YouTube. Like to plug the Great. idea that mm. we might have a YouTube. Yeah, yeah. look at that. Just, you'll find a way to find it. <laughs> theoretically, you'll find the yeah. video if you want. You can get there. You also yeah, don't there. have to. Right. Okay. You can just keep on That's listening. That's why we can't That's rely too. too hard on the visual yeah. gag. <laughs> That's why we can't. Um, yeah. Sweet, everybody. Uh, you can follow us on social media that we may or may not use at is me. At Axe for Demily, at Caldy's Caldwell, and at Jake Hurts is Jake. And you can tweet about the show using hashtag NADPOD. That's N A D D P O D. We, we are, we are the youth of the nation. nation. We are, we are the youth, youth of, of the nation. nation. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>